Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Akana. Laura Yamada has the night off. A breakthrough tonight for the future of public transportation on Oahu. Governor Neil Abercrombie has signed off on the environmental impact statement for rail transit, clearing a major hurdle in the multi-billion dollar project. Tonight we have team coverage from reaction to today's announcement to look at what's next. And we begin with KITV4's Catherine Cruz. Well, Paula, the city has been waiting for this day for a very long time. Mayor Peter Carlisle says he expects to hear back from the Federal Transportation Administration very soon. So expect the city to see the city break ground, maybe even as quick as next month. It is a Christmas present the city can check off its list. And now it's off to Rail Wonderland. Shovels are going to get in the ground soon, and I'm extremely excited about it. It's a thrill. The proposed train is now poised to go, and lined up to jump on board are the banks. It will change the way we do business in Hawaii, certainly in this, this county. The land developers. Today represents a milestone for everybody in West Oahu, Kapolei area. It brings hope uh, to a new generation of people that there will be connectivity and transportation alternatives for where the houses are. And the unions. Yes, we did. We told Santa that we wanted a train for Christmas, and he delivered. The mayor says the city has already awarded two rail contracts with two more ready to go next year. He hopes to have construction crews off the bench and back to work as soon as possible. We believe that by summer, we will have somewhere in the neighborhood of 2,000. And the Metal Trades Council made this very bold promise. We'd like to reassure the mayor and the people of the city and county of Honolulu that we will deliver a quality project on time and under budget. The new city council chairman is also on board. Today is a great day. Today we are moving forward and the city council stands ready to do its part to make this project a reality and something that will be built within our lifetime. But before the administration breaks any ground, it does have to get a shoreline management permit from the city council. And Garcia says he and his colleagues expect to take that up on January 26th. Now that will mark the first council meeting with an expected five new members on board. Garcia says he expects to swear in whoever wins the special election to represent the Leeward Coast in the third week of January. So it is all moving very fast. All right, Catherine, thank you very much. Well, Governor Neil Abercrombie was not available for comment on camera tonight, but he did issue the statement shortly after the mayor's announcement. Governor Abercrombie said now is our opportunity to strengthen our commitment to ensuring that the project is done right without delay and with a vision of Oahu's future clearly in mind. Unresolved issues will need to be addressed with dispatch. Hawaii senior Senator Daniel Illinois was one of those pushing for the governor's signature. In the spring, he got into a very public debate with then Governor Linda Lingle, accusing her of putting millions of dollars of federal money in jeopardy by failing to approve the EIS. Well, tonight, Senator Inouye said, I applaud Governor Abercrombie's signing of the final EIS today. At long last, the White House, the congressional delegation, the governor, and the mayor are all on the same page about the importance of a rail system for Honolulu to reduce traffic gridlock and put people to work. This is even more important as the fight for federal funds intensifies. Together, we will persevere forward. 